Welcome to a riveting tale from the records of history and prepare to be captivated by the remarkable tale of Alemayu, a young Ethiopian prince caught in the crossfire of political upheaval. Join us as we unravel the complex layers of his journey, delving into the heartbreaking moments that ultimately led to his untimely demise at the tender age of 18. Our account commences in the year 1868, in the vast diverse land of Ethiopia, during which Emperor Tuadros II, driven by a vision to modernize his kingdom, found himself confronted with political unrest and external threats from European powers. Emperor Tuadros, who happened to be the father of Alemayu, recognized the importance of establishing diplomatic ties with the influential British Empire. In an earnest attempt to seek a political alliance and support, he personally compassed a heartfelt letter addressed to Queen Victoria. However, to his profound disappointment, his plea remained unanswered. This angered the emperor who in turn held a group of British missionaries captive. Meanwhile a British army was sent to Abyssinia, as Ethiopia was then known, to secure the release of the missionaries. Captain Tristram Speedy, backed by the strength of the British military, made his arrival in Ethiopia with an armed expedition. Sadly, the escalating tensions between the British forces and the Ethiopian army reached a breaking point, and thus a fateful clash ensued, resulting in the defeat for Emperor Tuadros and his forces, which resulted to him ending his own life. In the midst of the chaos and prevailing confusion, a remarkable discovery unfolded within the fortified walls of the palace. There, hidden inside, was a young prince merely seven years old. This child, Alemayu, happened to be the son of Emperor Tuadros II and bore the weight of the tragedy as he found himself orphaned by the unfolding events. Understanding the significance of his royal lineage, the British military made a momentous decision to assume custody of young Alemayu with the purpose of bringing him to England under the care of Captain Speedy. Alemayu's journey from Ethiopia to England was filled with uncertainty and challenges, as the young prince was forcibly separated from his homeland, his people, and his rich heritage. Upon his arrival in England, Alemayu's presence immediately captured the attention of Queen Victoria, who in turn displaying a genuine interest in the young prince, ensured that he received a comprehensive education and was immersed in British culture. Despite the care and affection bestowed upon him, Alemayu's life in England proved to be a profound struggle, as he grappled with intense loneliness and a prolonged yearning for his distant homeland. Even with his noble upbringing and the efforts made to integrate him into society, the stolen prince remained an outsider in a foreign land. Alemayu was enrolled in Lockers Park School, then proceeded to Cheltenham, and in 1875, he transferred to rugby school. During his time at rugby, one of his tutors was Cyril Ransom, who played a significant role in shaping his educational experience. In 1878, Alemayu joined the Royal Military College in Sandhurst, however, his time there was marred by challenges, including potential experiences of racism and a lack of contentment. The following year, seeking solace and companionship, Alemayu went to Far Heatingly in Leeds to stay with his former tutor, Cyril Ransom, but unfortunately, his stay was short-lived as he fell ill within a week. Tragically, his illness worsened and he was diagnosed with pleurisy, a condition affecting the lining of the lungs, and despite medical efforts, his health continued to deteriorate and after six weeks of battling the illness, he succumbed to his condition. In her diary, Queen Victoria recorded the passing of the young prince, expressing her heartfelt sentiments about his character and the sorrowful circumstances surrounding his death. She noted his exemplary nature, emphasizing his goodness and kindness as a young boy. Moreover, she lamented the tragic reality of his demise, being separated from his family by great distance. Queen Victoria also acknowledged the profound unhappiness the prince experienced, particularly highlighting how he was conscious of people's stares due to his skin color. Queen Victoria ensured that he received a dignified farewell and was thereby buried at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle which is a significant site for British royalty, on the 21st of November, 1879. Throughout the following years, and even to this day, the people of Ethiopia and their leaders persistently advocate for the repatriation of Alemayu's remains, urging that they be returned to their rightful homeland. However, these emotional calls have been met with reluctance from the British royal family, who have continuously declined the request. Today, the story of Alemayu serves as a touching reminder of the complex dynamics between power, diplomacy, and the human impact of colonial encounters. It is a tale that invites us to contemplate the enduring consequences of historical events on individuals, nations, and cultural heritage.